16-year-old John Diaz is a typical teenager. He says he loves playing video games but doesn't like traditional schoolwork. I'm not really big into doing homework or something like that. During his summer vacation, Diaz is continuing his studies at home. That is because his courses are available on his home computer by way of the Florida Virtual School. Florida Virtual's executive director, Julie Young, says the school teaches students with the technology they most enjoy using in and out of school. We have so many students that are unengaged in our schools. They power down when they go to school. And we're very hopeful that Conspiracy Code will entice the learner to really get into the detail of the learning. Conspiracy Code is a video game that teaches U.S. history. Students guide two heroes in a quest to stop a conspiracy to change the past. Along the way, students learn about events such as the American Civil War and report back to their teacher who is posing as a spy. John Diaz says he enjoys American history now. I like to do the game every day and I try to um, keep up with it and it's, it's a lot of fun. It, it keeps me interested and I also get to learn at the same time. We've got to prove that the conspiracy exists. The game is jointly developed by the virtual school and these computer programmers from an educational software company. During training sessions, staff at the Florida Virtual School are shown how to integrate video games into lessons. But not every school district and educator endorses the use of video games. The Federation of American Scientists says schools are often reluctant to abandon textbooks for video technology. Educators from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology say the use of video games has also been limited by strict state requirements and the cost of producing the videos. A recent study by scientists from Madrid's Complutense University found that gaming can sometimes lead to high dropout rates and low student motivation. The Madrid study found students need more feedback from teachers during the learning process. But John Diaz says Conspiracy Code has helped him with his history studies, and he says he hopes more video games will be created to cover other difficult academic subjects, such as math and science. Steve Moore for VOA News, Orlando, Florida.